this is video number 17 of the invoice management system and it is time to validate our data let's look at how to do that in Django and it's a very short one in fact we only have to work with the forms if I scroll down you gotta see all we need to do is to add some functions to our already existing invoice form so this is the form that we used to input data into the application but as it is we don't have any restrictions we can allow the users to input empty or none in the fields so that's what we want to prevent I'm gonna start the server and we look at what we have and how we can prevent that Okay, I'm gonna do manage the py run server. Good. So now that the server is running, let's run the app localhost colon eight thousand. My machine seems to be running very slow. Okay, so the application is right here let's look at add invoice this is where we have the form so this is the form that we have let's see I think my CSS files are not working okay anyway so let's proceed now I have a form like this if I go to if I scroll down and click save you can see it is actually saved if I scroll down you can see all these nons 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 are all saved into the database without any any of the fields being filled so I don't want this to happen I'm gonna go back to add invoice okay so I want at least the invoice number to be uh, populated to have data I want the customer name also to be filled um, at least line one two should be filled so just to look at how that is done I have the codes on the website I'm gonna copy and paste it as simple as that I'm gonna run sublime our text editor good all right I have to close this one okay good this is the app that we've been working on or working with I'm gonna go to forms so right here I have the invoice search form I also have the invoice form so if you look at the view if I come, come down to the view so when adding the invoice the form that we use is invoice form so this is what we want to validate great now I'm gonna go to the forms I know that this is the forms that I should validate and these are the fields that I want to validate. I want to validate the invoice number, I want to validate the name, and also the yeah line one. I want to validate line one as well. So I'm gonna paste the code right here. Okay. So if I'm gonna I'm gonna paste it and remove this. This is just as what we have above here. So I'm gonna delete that. It was just there as an example. Now, be sure that these functions, uh, these functions are within this class and they are indented properly. Good. So we have that set. As it is, we have uh, invoice number, we have the name, but I want to add one more field to be validated. Okay, I'm going to do that, then I explain how the validation works. The field that I want to add is line one, so I'm going to copy one of these, right, and paste it right here. Okay, I have three fields that I want to validate. I want to validate invoice number, the name, and the line one. So I'm going to copy line one right here. I'm going to paste it here. Okay, I'm going to select name, and I'm going to press Ctrl D. And I'm gonna press Ctrl D again, Ctrl D again, then I'm gonna press Ctrl V. 
good so that is a short code right there good so now uh, this is how the validation work we're gonna create a function and the name of the function will be clean underscore whatever field we want to validate okay good so we're gonna uh, have a variable that's gonna be inverse number is equals to self dot clean data dot get this is a django built in function okay that takes in the field name all right so that is gonna be assigned to the variable now we want to check if that variable is blank or not and if it is blank we want to raise an a validation error okay so we're gonna do an if statement all right so if not that means if there is nothing in this variable that is right here okay which is also equivalent to whatever is passed in to this function I hope you get that now if not that that means if this doesn't exist raise raise form dot validation error is also another built-in Django function okay and then it takes a string and that string is what is gonna be shown right here okay right on the field okay I'm taking my time to explain this so that you understand it better All right so I hope you get that part then it's gonna return the invoice number that's the field name I'm gonna test that we're gonna highlight all of this comment it okay save it just test this one and this one alone okay I'm gonna save it try to click save here again let's see what that happened or oh, what happened good we have this field is required let's see where that is coming from this field is required is it not what we have right here this field is required yeah that's what we have there so this is how simple it is to do validations in Django now we know that this is working I'm gonna uncomment all of this and try it again I click saved already I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna click save again boom all these three fields are validated is that not easy so this is what I want to show you in this video but before I end this video let me show you one thing okay let's try to validate the quantity field good let's see that okay I'm gonna copy again I'm gonna paste it right here my quantity field is right here line one quantity I'm gonna copy that field name I'm gonna paste it right here okay I'm gonna paste it here Control D, Control D, Control D. Paste it. Save it. All right. I'm gonna click save again. Right here, this field is required. Okay. Sometimes this is what I do. Instead of rewriting the variable or the text right here, I can call it up um, somewhere around here. Okay. I'm gonna give the variable right here. I'll say require. Is equals to this text save it now I can change this to the required variable so if I save it I'm gonna try again click save okay you can see it's right here yeah for inverse number we have this field is required so this is one way of doing it okay this is one way of doing it I'm gonna paste all this required right here oh sorry I'm gonna copy this okay I'm gonna press ctrl D ctrl D and paste yeah save it so the reason why I do this uh, I'm using uh, the free version of text editor of sublime I'm gonna click continue so the reason why I do this is if anytime I want to change the text let's say please fill this input okay please this field is required okay let's say I want to say 
uh, I want to add a keyword. Let's say I want to add please here. Please, this field is required. Okay, if I click save, you can see please, this field is required everywhere. I don't have to come down to all of these and change whatever I want to display on the application or on the form. So this one way of doing it, but I hope you enjoy this. If you do, don't forget to click on that like button. If you're new to this channel, we do programming stuff mostly on Django, but I want to try other programming languages. Okay. So if you're interested in anything programming, feel free to subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification so that I will notify you when I'm posting videos. See you in the next video.